Gotcha. Coach Leonard Spire, we got a little bit of County Monday stuff coming up. Yeah, uh, we do. What does that do for you as a dad, for your son, when he's able to get exposed to one of the greatest wrestlers of all time? It's always good to get exposed to a great wrestler like that. You know, everybody's teaching different ways, different thoughts, different ideas, different moves. It's always good to get a good look. And then you got a, you know, Olympic gold medalist and a world champ. So you guys come here and you're going to wrestle tomorrow too, though, yes, right? Yes, we are. It's the, this, this is a loaded tournament. Yes, it is. And it's two, we're down two teams and it's still really good. Yeah, it will be. It'll be a good event, good, good, uh, good bar for the kids, good test to see where they're at, where they're going, what we got to work on in practice. Five nationally ranked matches, probably, but most likely, at least four. Most likely. And probably about a six-hour time period. Yes. How do you prepare them for that? You don't. You just throw them out there and let them wrestle. A lot of people are real analytical about it. I'm the biggest uh, brain picker there is, right? Right. I want to know about how to keep my kids interested, engaged. Yep. You're getting to the regional, national type events every week. How do you keep your kids engaged? And, and can you make them love the sport? Got to let them have fun. They got to have fun. You got to find a way to make it fun. Got to find a way during practice, before practice, middle of practice. They got to laugh. They got to have some kind of fun. And the ultimate fun is winning. And the ultimate way to learn is losing. And winning too so that's the way it looks fun it. fun gotta have fun you know you don't always win in this sport the first couple of years of your career you, you don't win and they have to have fun you know take them out for ice cream after it this is what we're doing we're gonna go have some ice cream we're gonna laugh about it and you're gonna go back to practice tomorrow and try again you know you got these relationships that you've built as a coach for when you were a coach at st edward you know i talked that i mean charlie loves you charlie's like look guy's a great coach loves you he's like Leonard knows what's going on. Nemeth loves you. I know a lot of these guys, these St. Ed's guys that I went to school with that are my age. We're 42 years old, man. These guys still love you. What's it say about the relationships that you build as a coach? Uh, it, it's a relationship built on trust and hard work. You know, they got to trust you when they're young. They don't know you. You start talking to them and learning from them and trying to guide them through life. I think the most important thing is the hard work, but it's the relationships and making them into fine young men down the road, you know, coaching them in life. And I, I still, guys still reach out to me, you know, coach, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? You just try to keep coaching them. And, you know, I'm a dad now. So, you know, a lot of these guys look at you as a, a dad figure. So you talk to them, you coach them up. What do you want your son ultimately to get out of this tomorrow? Just a great experience. You know, the, the bonus part of it, you know, if he wins, that's great. But it's going to teach him how to work hard. It's going to teach him to, to work through adversity at a young age. And I think he'll grow through that. It, it is working. And, you know, you tell these guys it's, it's, it's hard. What we do is hard. This isn't football, baseball, basketball. This is a one-on-one, -on -one, me against you, me against my teammates every day. And I want him to learn how to work hard and, you know, be able to, to say I did that. And hopefully someday when life gets hard, it'll look back and say, if I made it through this, I can make it through life. So the guys I was talking about, you wrestled a bunch with. Mm -hmm. Do you wrestle that much anymore? Is there a bunch of wrestling? I know that, dude, you're, there's, you get miles. <laughs> you get miles on the car, right? Yeah. And it don't go anymore sometimes. No, I'm not wrestling that much. I'll roll around with them, but I'm not. On the mat, I'll wrestle, but on my feet, probably not too much anymore. They're, you know, too big, too strong, too fast. They move so much. They move so the much. The lateral motion's really hard for me to keep up with. Right. I mean, you'll, they'll hurt you. Oh, you yeah. blow your knee out. I, I enjoy rolling around with them. You know, I always tell people, they, they, I'm still working out, I'm still doing this. There's no sweat like a wrestling sweat. No. There's, There's no, no workout like a wrestling workout. No. You can ride so, a bike, yeah. you can climb a mountain. No, seriously. I did a hiking trip this summer. I sweat. West I worked Virginia? Out. Yes. I saw that. Me, Mike, Very Ford, jealous. Charlie. Very jealous. Great Charlie. experience. First time these two knuckleheads take me up in the mountains. We did 26 miles in two days. We were supposed to do it in three. We did 10 in and 16 out. <laughs> Oh, I hated you. Was, <laughs> I love it. But I, it's I still not back. like wrestling. No, you The can't, point is it's not like wrestling. You can't get a sweat like I mean, in wrestling, your, your toes are sweating. Your ankles. Everything it's sweats. It's crazy. Everything dude. hurts. Yes. Your earlobes are sweating. It's fun, it's fun to sit there after a wrestling workout and just shake it out and sweat down. Yeah. Let the, watch the pile. Yeah. The, the puddle, I mean. The puddle. You get it, the puddle. It's a great feeling. Like, just fold your arms over your knees and you yep. get this puddle dripping from your elbows, your fingers. It's a great feeling. It's like you you can't fake that. Like, I... like. You couldn't say that to a non-wrestler. They wouldn't know what you're talking about. No. Even these Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and these, these other people that are that's so, at such a different pace. No, they have different pace. They yeah. take breaks. They, yeah. They, you know, yeah, they're chasing guard. That's kind of chill. Yeah, wrestling, you're just 
I'm not saying they can't break my arm and choke me out. That's right. not what I'm saying. The pace is just not the same. Yeah. Right? It's you, the pace. It's, would it's, you agree with that? Yeah. You know, you come in, you go and practice, you go a 10-minute go, and you sit down for two minutes, get a drink of water, and go another seven-minute go, and you're done. Talk West Shore and Guy. Is there a better youth program, in your opinion, in the United States? No. Guy Seiko's tremendous. The youth program's tremendous. What he's done for this program and the kids in it have been great, and I appreciate him letting me become part of his program and, you know, helping out. I, I do. It's, it's a great program, and it's we're growing fine young men. And you coach Gus, folks. right? Yeah. Gus and Charlie. Yes. You're younger than Guy, though. No. no. Are you younger? You're not younger than Guy? You're the same age. No way. I yeah. thought you were younger than Guy. No. I wear Did it you well. graduate high school? 84. You're an 84. I thought you were like an 89 grad. No, I'm an 84 grad. That blows my mind. God, good for you. <laughs> like a fine wine. Get better. All right. Got anything else? No, just be a fun weekend, and thanks for coming out and taking care of this. All right. The defense up duels should be a banger tomorrow. Should be. And if you see how guys be. set the bracket up, did you see that yet? No, I don't even want to look at the bracket. It's a cross I don't look at bracket. Brackets. I don't look at bracket. Did you know that them and compound are set up for the last match? That's great. I love it. Don't I'm look in. at brackets. They don't do anything for you. you oh, that, is that a youth tip for me? You got, yeah, they got to wrestle them eventually. First round or last round? Coach Leonard, thank you for the time. Good luck to you guys tomorrow. Thank you.